Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Opinion. Today, we're going to be talking about this Jonah Hill situation with his girlfriend leaking his text messages, calling him mentally abusive and all this other craziness. Hey, let's get into it, though. Hey, like I said, welcome back to this episode. Hey, we're going to be talking about Jonah Hill right now. Look. This guy must have really pissed his ex-girlfriend off because she has taken to the internet to tell, to show everybody his old text messages that she deems are emotionally abusive. We're gonna get there because I'm not sure some of these messages are actually abusive or it's just a request on his part. But anyway, if you don't know who Jonah Hill is, I was first introduced to Jonah Hill probably in movies like the Super Bad version, right? Classic, instant classic. Um, he's done other movies. What, what we got here? Knocked Up, um, Get Him to the Greek. Remember that one? 21 Jump Street. Uh, he had a role in, uh, or either produced Django, War Dogs, one of my favorite, right? So Jonah Hill is a big time uh, celebrity in Hollywood. Uh, he makes a lot of cool movies. I, he's one of my personal favorites. Um, and uh, it looks like he had a little situation. Um, what I'm gonna say is the young lady's name is Sarah Brady. And she has gone on to post his text messages that, that they had explaining their breakup of why they broke up. Um, Let's get, let's read one of the, the first one that she wrote. She said that Jonah Hill gave her uh, basically an ultimatum in this series of text messages that he sent. He's basically was saying, you know, if you want to be with me in this relationship, you're going to have to follow these, uh, these rules. All right. So here's a text message. Let me read the first one that Jonah sent her. Her name is Sarah Brady. At least that's her name on Instagram anyway, right? So that's her name in real life right now. So let's get into it. It says, uh, plain and simple. This is what Jonah Hill says to her. If you need the following things to be in your life, this is basically what he's saying. If you need these things, and then it's a semicolon, and then this is what he says. If you need surfing with men, if you need boundarily less inappropriate friendships with men. If you need to model, if you need to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, if you need to post sexual pictures, if you need friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch, a coffee or something respectful, and then he says, I am not the right partner for you if you need those things, basically. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it. And there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. And then he says, my boundaries with you based on the way these actions have hurt our trust. So I'm gonna get into something a little bit. When, when you first read these, this text message, when you first read this text message, you kind of think, oh, this is a guy that's just given some kind of crazy, um, you know, some crazy rules to his girlfriend and like basically like on some uh, I own you type of, uh, of stuff, right? And so, but there's some key, there's some key lines in here that makes me think, there's something that had to happen for him to lose his trust in her. So it's easy for women after a relationship doesn't work to come out and you know, you're, that's why I always say there's two sides to every story. When you see this story come out, she's leaving these text message, text messages of what he's saying to her. But Sarah Brady, I would want to ask you, what did you do in the relationship where he lost trust in you? Because it sounds like there's something that happened. I'm going to go to the part of the text message 
that says it sounds like maybe something happened in the past here right he says friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch so he said wild recent past that makes me think that something happened very recent with these friends that he was not comfortable with anymore. And then he says, my boundaries with you based on the way these actions have hurt our trust. So this girl did something, okay? I don't like when people try to go and, you know, go to the media, she's hurting, tell the whole story. If you're gonna, if you're gonna post, I got a bunch of, I'm looking at a bunch of her text, her, her messages that she sent out, it looks like on Instagram. She's screen capturing all of his text messages and she's saying, I don't care for your misogyny. You make me sick. This is the, the labels that she's leaving over his messages. I hope my ex has a daughter, you know. She said, get whooped like a slave, you know? And, you know, again, before I fully judge this situation, I would love to know what happened in this relationship for this woman to lose his trust. Now, I don't know Jonah Hill, right? I do know that some men are naturally insecure. Um, Jonah Hill has lost weight uh, in recent years. I think that he looks great now. Early on, he was a little, um, you know, he had a little weight on him. Maybe he had some insecurity issues with women. I don't know. Listening to this, I don't think this sounds like a situation where a man is just being insecure. I'm not saying that he may not be a little insecure, because he's not, maybe he don't feel like he's uh, like Brad Pitt or, you know, he's not Tom Cruise and, you know, Jonah Hill is probably like, uh, he probably doesn't have a problem getting women, but his celebrity getting women is probably not like, you know, like Brad Pitt getting women, you know what I mean? Now, with that said, reading these text messages, Reading these text messages that he sent, I believe something previously happened in this relationship. I believe that there's something that happened that he's not comfortable with. Now, I looked at this young lady's Instagram. Her name is Sarah Brady. He has a problem with surfing with men, okay? So when I looked at her Instagram, she's a surfer. If you look at her pictures on her Instagram, about 98% of her pictures are her surfing. So she clearly is about that surfing life. And if you're gonna be a surfer, I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a community of men and women that she surfs with. As a man, that is something that you have to be secure in. You're Jonah Hill, you're worth $70 million, you're a big Hollywood hotshot, right? I would just say to the men out there, look, you can't be so insecure. If a woman did something in your past and you made the decision to stay with her, that's your fault. You can't continue to beat her up. That's why, you know, it's hard when you stick around after trust has been lost. And it sounds like trust was lost here. But what I will say is, if a woman, like, it's like, if you marry or you wife, like, girlfriend up, a stripper, you can't get mad that she's in the club every night stripping for other men. That's what you accepted. You can't get mad that she's surfing with other men. Most of the surfers out there, I'm pretty sure, are men. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of women surfers, but it's probably a male-driven type of activity so she's gonna be out there i'm looking at her pictures he says something else he says boundaryless 
inappropriate friendships with men. I would wanna know what's the inappropriateness with these men. And he says, she posts pictures of yourself in a bathing suit. Now I'm gonna say, I looked at her pictures on her Instagram page of her, of her uh, posting pictures in her bathing suits. Some of these bathing suits look like the bathing suits that the women used to wear in the 70s. Like, they're not showing much. Um, I would say about 60% of the bathing suit, bathing suit shots are not like some exotic woman trying to show her ass off or nothing like that. Now, she had a couple of them where she clearly is trying to show her tits off and she's trying to show her crotch off. I'm not sure what she's trying to show there. I'm not sure if she's just, some women, they just like to show their bathing suits off to other women. But there's one picture that I saw where there's a, where there's a, where, where the camera's like, uh, hold on. the camera's like right up in her, right up in her, zoomed right up. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking maybe that's what he had a problem with. Either or, Jonah Hill, I would say, and I will say this to any men out there, is that we are the first men that's dealing with women that have social media accounts. You know what I mean? We are the first generation of men dealing with this type of thing. Um, a lot of men didn't, you know, based on our age, you guys probably didn't see women in previous generations doing this type of thing, showing pictures off publicly to everybody for, men and women to like and you know nowadays in this world that we live in it's not just men that's liking and trying to get at your woman it could be other women that's liking and trying to get at your woman too you have to not worry about it literally you cannot be in a relationship with anybody and not trust them um, and it sounds like the trust here was broken at some moment in this relationship and it was lost and you're still dealing with it and I think that unless you, I think Jonah Hill, you need to probably go get some type of therapy and have a therapist uh, session to talk about the situation. And Sarah Brady, I also believe that you should have also worked with him a little bit if you felt like that's a relationship that you wanted to stay in. I feel like he must have gave you an ultimatum and you were not for it. Now you're coming out and you're slandering him um you're slandering him with these messages that you're posting that's not a way of getting the man back but clearly you are extremely hurt over it this man said i was prepared to take you to the red carpet in a week please let me know if you cannot abide by these rules or i'm not gonna take you i'm not gonna show the world that you're my girl and basically it must didn't happen i would say to sarah brady if your man felt some type of way, I think you guys could have talked about the surfing situation. Look, I'm a surfer, you know, you know, maybe I hurt your truck, but you gotta talk certain things out. Um, and, and in regard to Jonah Hill, look, if you were a woman that you don't trust, you shouldn't be with her. I'm not sure what happened there, but if you are with a woman and you do not trust her, you should not be with her because that's a tough life to live. I think most guys have been there before in their relationship history. And, you know, I, I, I don't think that that's a situation that you should be giving her an ultimatum. I, it, you know, it looks like a therapist told you to write this stuff out for her and give it to her. And if he did, I'm not sure that's a, that was that was the smartest advice that someone should have gave you um i think there's better ways to handle it i think you should have talked about it she clearly is heartbroken over the breakup with you um and you guys probably should have talked some things out a little bit miss lady you should not be posting his text messages for the world to see trying to call him a emotionally abuser a abuser have you ever seen the color purple that's abuse this is not abuse this man was asking for some, for something in a relationship. That was it. All you had to do was talk about it. You decided to leave or he decided to dump you. However, this is not how you handle it. Jonah Hill and all the men out there, we are dealing with women that have Instagrams now. 
you if you can't deal with it be, be single literally be single if you can't deal with a woman posting pictures of herself online and her male friends liking them now if the guys are sliding in the dms and all that that's inappropriate but if they're liking them and you can't handle it well bro you might you might relationships may not be for you all right and that's for everybody out there hey thanks for joining me let me know what y'all think about this situation with jonah hill let me know what y'all think about the situation um thanks for joining me another episode of the opinion make sure you hit like make sure you subscribe make sure you start following all the other uh, uh checking out all the other videos too thanks for the support until next time see you later